afternoon we're at 9708 Seafarers Way in Navarre it's about one o'clock in the afternoon about 90 degrees a little breeze going brick house here's your neighborhood this is a like a large cul-de-sac or a circular road it goes to the end and turns around so you don't have a whole lot of through traffic and there is a little pool over there community pool you can probably see it out in the distance out there and there's more information where that blue tower is out in the distance there's more information on the website about that but this is the house we're on a little waterway back here like a little stream or a creek that is not fully fenced does have a side entrance here for the garage parking for two vehicles and of course a two-car garage this is your front yard here front porch This is your side yard, and the little uh, waterway is back there. We'll go back there in just a minute. We'll go on inside the house. <clears throat> All right, the first area would be your formal dining room, probably used as an office or a little media, media room. Tan colors, carpeting, ceiling fan, lots of windows, so lots of natural light. <clears throat> so that's your entry there. Little foyer with your laminate vinyl flooring, I should say, not laminate. And your hallway down to the bedrooms is on the left. We'll go right into the kitchen. You have your vinyl flooring, it's a good sized kitchen, ceiling fan, double windows, pantry, lots of cabinet space and a little bar area, fridge, open floor plan, dishwasher, sink area, flat top stove, and a little counter microwave, and lots of additional cabinetry. And you have your little dining area here as well. I call it informal dining. Table and a few chairs would be nice there. I get you another view from this angle. And then of course overlooking the main living space. You could have uh, several bar stools there if you like. Main living area. Check our dimensions on the website, but you could accommodate most any furniture in this configuration. Uh, double windows in the rear and the door going outside and you have a window there do have a gas fireplace and once again there's your kitchen and the bar area and we get another view of that And you do have the vaulted ceiling with ceiling fans, carpeting. So we'll go on in the uh, bedroom area. This will be your master, good size. You want to check our dimensions. Uh, king size would be fine in here. Ceiling fan, two windows. And one of them overlooks the uh, waterway I mentioned. And we'll go out there in just a minute. But there's a little, like a creek back there. Couple different views. A 
and then your master bath, which would be two sinks, mirror, lighting, vinyl flooring, commode on the right, and a little pantry area there, not pantry, but for linens, linen closet, and a garden tub, and a shower. So that's your bathroom. And one more view from this corner over here. And then you do have a walk-in closet right there. <clears throat> Good size with shelving. Walk-in. All right. And then your hallway back into the main living space. Another view entire space we go back into the other hallway which goes to other bedrooms you have your coat closet right here coat closet which is next to your air conditioning HVAC system and then you have your wet room I'll call it your washer dryer area hookups right here with shelving and that goes to the garage continuing on into bedrooms check our dimensions I'd say a queen or maybe a full size single window and a closet get you one more view of that Hallway bathroom, single lavatory, mirror, lighting, commode, and a full tub and shower combination. <clears throat> and then across the hall from the bathroom would be the last bedroom. Carpeting like the others. Let it focus for a second. Alright, I think that's got it. Yep, carpeting. Ceiling fan, single window, a queen would be okay in here, I believe, full or a queen, closet, I'll get you one more view from the closet, and that would be the bedroom, alright, we're leaving that area now, we'll shut these lights on. As we go, and we're going in the garage through the mud room. Two car garage with a storm rated door. And there is an electric motor with a uh, clicker. We have that and a separate entry for the garage, which is convenient. And this is a gas water heater. So you know, want to make sure you get the gas company to turn that on. And I'll give you one more view. And it is a well-lit garage. Natural lighting, that's nice. So that's your garage. All right, now we're walking to the back of the property. <clears throat> Get to see this little wetland area I was telling you about. We have a slab back here. Good for a little barbecue area. This is just like a circle waterway. I mean, you can't have really boats that I'm aware of in here, but a lot of ducks, good place to feed the ducks. And as you can see, it kind of wraps around this community. Kind of pretty, and it does give you extra um, privacy. That's pretty nice. Here's your neighbors over there. There's your back patio. There's your other neighbors. A little sidewalk area is pretty nice. Well, I hope you like it.